finally gonna install some electronics in the FPV Beetle. So we're gonna do this pretty quick. Gonna jump some steps here and there. Save you guys uh, <laughs> watching me solder. You've seen a lot of that stuff already. So first off, here we're gonna crack the lid. Get the top off. And the camera, you know, what? not even gonna bother. I'm gonna show you the ESCs that we're gonna be using. Six of them. They're Emacs 12 amp ESCs. Save the step there. I'm gonna show you they're all soldered directly to the board, which is the PCB itself. Got the Deans and the connector for our uh, FPV. So I'm gonna put the two plates together, get the arms in play. Now we're just gonna move our electronics around. First off, we're gonna install the NAS32 board. Got the standoffs already. Use the supplied nylon bolts. Or not, should I say? Get that secured over. And the motors are the first step. I'm gonna do this quick. I'm gonna get two screws in. Line ourselves up. Beware of where your wires are coming out. Make sure you can route the wiring nice and clean underneath which I've done here just zip tied everything out of the way now the leads you get ready to connect that to a receiver here first we get the breakout cable onto the naze and then that to the uh, receiver using an AR6100 spectrum on this one so you're just gonna plug our leads according to the little pamphlet that comes with the receiver Use some double-sided tape. Get that secured to the chassis. And finally, the FPV transmitter. Small unit in this one. Only uh, 200 milliwatts. A little bit more tape. And get that into place. <clears throat> we'll zip tie it for secure. To be secure, should I say, after. And now follow the motor configuration according to the setup. In this one here, we have motors one, two, three, and four at the extremities, and the two middle ones are five and six. You get that plate up and over. I'm gonna clean up all that wiring after. But for now, we're ready for some props. All right, we're back with the final product here. So there we are. I don't know if I'm going to stick with the orange props. Maybe. But as you can see, I relocated the antenna for that FPV, so I turned that transmitter sideways. It's the only option that gives me enough room and clearance to not hit anything. And the way that I've mounted it, I've uh, zip-tied it underneath so it's nice and tight, and that antenna can only tilt side to side, which will still clear all the props. There we have the CCD 800 TVL camera. You can see underneath there we have our Dean's connector. All their wires are nice, routed, zip-tied. Nothing's loose and hanging, going to get caught in any props. And then the final step... I'm going to be maintaining this uh, soon. So, guys, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe.